let's start. For today, since many students, they are struggling with uh, electrochemistry or electrolysis, so that's why I told you I'm going to do a past papers class to revise electrolysis. Well, inshallah, I hope it will help. Okay, well, I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to explain any question by question. I'm going to explain why did we do it like this? Yep, let's start. Hmm. If I'm going to show you something like this, he's saying draw an arrow. Here he's saying draw an arrow to show the direction of movements of electron in the wire. And you want to put, <laughs> someone put for you all the groups. Thank you so much, I'm sharing. Rana, thank you, Rani. Rani, she put for you WhatsApp group. WhatsApp group uh, with Instagram or Facebook. I put for you the every every week the time of the class. Yani every week, let's say next Friday, when exactly the class is, I send it on the group on the WhatsApp. Okay, so you can just uh, you can just join the group in WhatsApp, uh, follow the page, and you will see. We, with YouTube channel, inshallah, this video is going to be uploaded by maximum by tomorrow. Inshallah. Uh, yes, Yeroni, tell me. Need a question? Have a question? No, I want to answer. Want to answer? Yalla, answer. How, uh, what is the direction of the electrons? Min uh, anode del cathode. Oh, good job. So it's going to be in which direction? Yani? Like this? No. Oh, yes, correct. Perfect. Prof. Type. But here he's saying label it by A. I'm going to label it A. Type. What about? If he ask you the direction of the movement of the positive ions of the copper sulfate, the positive ions is going to move in which direction? Cathode. Correct. The positive ions, and we said before, in the opposite attracts. Yani if I'm having a positive ion, it's going to move to the cathode. If I have a negative ion, it's going to move to the anode. This means the positive ions is going to move to the cathode. Cathode. Yani to which side? This one. Am I right? Type, I want to ask you something. How do I know which one is the cathode oscillator or which one is the anode? If I'm having any yani here, he's not telling you which one is the cathode, which one is the anode. Salamat, miss, your, your sound is sick. Hey, I'm good, Yajuji, Habibi. Thank you so much, Yajuji. <coughs> um, if I'm going to talk about this part, this is the anode or this is the cathode. Uh, even if he didn't tell you which one is the anode, which one is the cathode. Even if he didn't tell you, how can he know? The battery, if it is the long one, the long side of the battery, this is always connected to the anode. The short side of the battery is always connected to the cathode. Okay? Anode is positive, cathode is Sahih Mahmoud, correct. Bro, good job. Right. Let's take. Let's take another idea. Right. Uh, who can tell me here he's talking about this oxide this reaction is it oxidation explain why it's oxidation so when do i say in this reaction is oxidation uh, loss of uh, gain of uh, oxygen loss of electron um, gain of oxygen loss of electron correct you can remember it by the word a oil rig oxidation is losing electron or reduction is gaining electron am i right so oh, increasing in oxidation number. We're increasing in the oxidation number, correct? That's true. Bro, top since in nana cont are four OH minus one. I put the electrons are here. Since the electrons are on the opposite side, yani after the arrow, if this means in nana uh, I'm losing electron or I'm gaining electron. Losing electron. Exactly, losing electron. But this means in OE because loss of electrons. Since in the, this is loss of electron, but this is oxidation. Okay, type. Right. What about the equation at the cathode? Uh, can you please mute hmm. the equation at the cathode? Bro, meaning gained oxygen. La, this is wrong. Mahmoud, Iyad, uh, Habiba. La, listen. Hina, I didn't gain any oxygen. خالص. لا, it's not related. Oxygen, عارفين, when do I say oxygen? يعني مثلا, let's say, uh, كان عندي lead oxide plus carbon will give lead plus carbon monoxide, مثلا, something like this. If the carbon will take the oxygen, as an example, يبقى, what happened to the carbon? Lost an electron. لا, إحنا دلوقتي, we are not talking about electrons خالص. And I'm talking about a oxygen. Oh, is oxygen? 
So it's getting all the uh, oxygen. Oxidation number. طب ما طب ليه ليه مص احنا ممكن نعملها بالاكسديشن نمبر طب بس في انذر ايزير واي هي مش ذس از اكسجين الكربون ويل تيك الاكسجين ولا لا؟ يس اكزاكتلي طب معنى انها ات تيكس ذا اكسجين يبقى وات هابند؟ اكسجين مش كده اكسجين اكسجين يبقى اكسديشن ام اي رايت؟ يس يس بيرفكت يبقى ذس مينز ان الكربون حصل لها اكسديشن اوكي واللاد اوكسايد وات هابند تو ذا لاد اوكسايد؟ ريدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوكسيدوك
انا هنا اي واز يوزنج كوبر سلفيت بس ادى انود وادى كاثود اي واز يوزنج اونلي ايه عجيبه الشكل يا شيخ ايوه اي واز يوزنج وات نورمال جرافايت انا ما سلوم اي ميوتد لانه اي ثينك يو دونت نو انت يو ار ان ميوتد يلا if in this case this my anode or my cathode they were made of graphite graphite more graphite or carbon the anode or cathode they are made of graphite okay but here there was no change for size okay and graphite in general doesn't change in size but he is saying but i know if i'm going to exchange an anode or cathode instead of carbon i don't want to graphite or carbon i want to make them from copper is it going to make it change? Is there any change in the masses? What do you think? change. Yes, I need to know about what's the change. Um, the mass of the cathode will increase and the mass of the rock will decrease. Correct. Type with solution. The solution will become concentrated. Ah, oh, will remain constant. Exactly. As it is here. Miss Hifa, to this Again. He is asking, what will happen if you are going to put an anode with cathode made of copper instead of graphite? What are the changes in the masses? Yani what will happen here? What will happen to the mass of this one or to the mass of this one? Or to the solution? And I have two cases. Mishi? Excuse me? Yes, tell me. You wanted, you wanted to ask something? No, it's not the copper, it's graphite. Yes, لا, a couple of graphite, a carbon graphite. Oh, oh so. Okay, but I don't want the graphite anymore or the carbon anymore. I want to exchange it by copper. Right. If I'm going to make it with copper, this means and this is not going to become, it's not going to become normal electrolysis anymore. This is called the refining of copper. What do I mean by refining of copper? If I want, do you remember when we were talking uh, in during the when we explained the electrolysis? I told you there is something called refining of copper, or purification of copper. Yani this means in the anode was I was putting heat impure copper, big piece of impure copper. Why I was putting here pure copper, small piece. We could have been all in by time. Which one will lose all the time? This one will lose all the time. The copper will lose electrons, and it will will. Uh, and the anode, it will lose electron, but this by time is going to decrease in size. We hear this will increase in size. But by time, an impure copper will become smaller in size. With pure copper, it will become bigger in size. If you remember, with solution was copper sulfate blue, it will remain blue as it is. So, Leila, yeah, excuse me. Leila, 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 بصي احنا نورمالي لما استخدمنا هنا كاربون الكترودز وان يو يوز جرافايت ناثينج تشينجز ان ماس ام رايت في النورمال الكتروليسز الانود والكاثود دي ور ذا سيم في السايز ات واز ذا سيم بس ناو وان اي تشينج ات انتو كوبر لا اتس نوت ذا سيم وان اي تشينج ات انتو كوبر ات واز نوت ذا سيم واي بقى لانه باي لانه ذس بصي وان اي واز ميكينج ات فروم كوبر فور فروم فروم when I was making it from carbon or from graphite, the graphite doesn't change in size. It will keep its size. تمام؟ لأنه it doesn't react. The carbon doesn't react or the graphite doesn't react. لكن when I put here, once I'm going to put here copper, well, again, I'm going to put here copper, copper will react. But that's why by time, this will decrease in size. يعني instead of being a big size, كده? Instead of being big size, لا, it's going to become smaller in size. Well, this one will become bigger in size. For my time, you are purifying the copper. Yani this anode is going to decrease in size. Taban huwa, المفروض الانود هو اللي decrease. الانود هو اللي decrease in size. Yes. Yes. 
unfortunately yes but so what this question is very tricky يعني, uh, not everyone knows this question <laughs> Because it gained oxygen or because it lost oxygen. I'm أنا لما كتبت كده في الشات حتى قلتي لا. لا يا روحي عشان the question ده ما كانش related to oxygen. يعني لما يكون the question ما فيهوش أصلا حتى عمل lose أو gain the oxygen you cannot write it. Okay. You're most welcome. لكن أنتي now you are asking me in general not for this one. طيب يلا let's continue. What about this one? Is this the same idea? I want something you can treat here. <laughs> for the previous question, already he informed you. Which one is the cathode? Which one is the anode type? Normally, but if he didn't tell you, this is the first electrode, okay? Well, this is the second electrode. The one that is a, a, a long one, our long electrode, this is the positive or this is the negative? Positive. Exactly. Who is connected to the positive? If this is the positive, who is connected to the positive? Anode. Sorry? Anode. Exactly. What about this? Negative for cathode. Exactly. You got it? You must yes. well. Type. Who can tell me this question? How should I write it? Loss of uh, Oxidation is loss of electron. Correct. Oxidation, it means loss of electrons. Correct. You see here? Here, I cannot say oxygen. I know we only in terms of electrons. Like in, if he said in terms of oxygen, I will say gaining oxygen. Miss, I have a question. Sure. Hmm. Now, when I said the removal of electrons from the atom, is it right? No, but if you say the mark scheme answer, it's better to, yani, to, to stick to the mark scheme answer better. Uh, N I uh, equal لا هتبقى two N I هتدينا N I plus two electron N I positive two plus first two electron first of all he's saying nickel so he's saying nickel forms um, nickel forms iron with charge positive two I need to show the oxidation of nickel. Yeah, but I will start by nickel, or I will start by nickel positive two. Nickel, correct. Positive two. لا خلي بالك. If I start by nickel positive two, yeah, this means madam, أنا كتبت هنا positive. Yeah, I need to write positive two. Okay. Uh -huh. Nickel. This is reduction, or this is oxidation. Reduction. Exactly. This is reduction. Or what he's saying? Show oxidation. Yeah, is this correct? No. Yeah, how should I write it? N I Tidina N I plus two plus two electron. Correct. You yeah, at the first the first step I'm going to write N I. No, I'm going to write N I with then arrow. It's going to give you N I positive two plus two electrons. Is it clear? Easy? Right. Can you explain it again? This one? Why it's oxidation? Yes. Right. I will show you something. Zero plus one plus two minus one minus two minus three. If I'm going up, this is oxidation. Or if I'm going down, this is reduction. Okay? So if you check here, nickel was zero. Oxidation state, there is no oxidation state. So it will change to nickel positive two, and it was zero. It become positive two. But what's happening? And it became positive two. Yes, yani. I mean, oxidation while a reduction is happening. Oxidation. But well, this means oxidation is happening. Am I right? I mean, like positive two is oxidation. Yes. Which means my positive two is oxidation. From zero to positive two, this is oxidation. This is how it's. You got my point? Yes, yeah. Yeah, so we will write an ionic half equation to show the equation of nickel. So the answer is that Ni positive 2 
the, the whole equation, this is an equation. It's going to be like this nickel is going to give you nickel positive two plus two electrons. This is the equation. Okay, thank you. You almost work. Um, what happens to the mass? Uh, we talked about the mass. Let's get something different. Type. Who can tell me about this one? This is again a very good question, a very common one. What do you think? Uh, the solution will be paler. Correct. The solution is going to become pale. What else? This this question has three observations, mainly. It's more brown solid will going to be four. Sorry? Brown solid will going to be four. Okay. Right. First of all, and I'm having who is going to be formed at the end? Copper. Copper. What's the color of the copper when it is a normal copper kid alone? As a metal. What do you think? Pink brown. Exactly. Pink. So the first observation I can say. Pink brown substance is formed. Am I right? I can say pink brown substance or pink brown solid is formed. This is number <laughs> one. Type number two, as she said, you know what will happen? The solution was copper sulfate. And copper sulfate, what was the color of the copper sulfate? It was blue. At the end, is it going to be blue as it is? No. No, Leila, in no equation, I'm going, this is this is called ionic equation. I will write the normal equation so you can understand. Mishi, he is saying magnesium is added to copper sulfate. I will write a hook. Magnesium is added to copper sulfate for the ones who doesn't know ionic equation. In magnesium, is it more than more reactive than the copper? Well, it's not. Yes, it's more reactive. Yes. Now it's more reactive. Yani it's going to displace it. Well, it will not. Yes. Yes, yes it will. So it's going to give you a. MG, MGSO4. Exactly. It's going to give me MGSO4. Well, who is going to be kicked out because it's less CO2? Plus CO. Yeah. Okay. Right? Type. Let's talk about the observation bar. Here, I'm going to say pink brown substance is formed. Tab, what else? The copper sulfate bar. What's the color for copper sulfate, as I told you? A blue. Correct. It's blue solution. But at the end, is it going to be still there? Yes. I didn't say anything about the magnesium sulfate. List. I'm talking no, about the copper sulfate. A copper sulfate, the color A. Blue. Exactly. Yeah. It's blue. But at the end, is it going to be kept blue? No. It's going to change no. to A. Simply green. Uh, colorless. Cup and magnesium sulfate colorless. Yes, correct. It's a, it's a colorless one. So it's going, in the blue solution is going to change into a into colorless. You can say blue solution will turn to colorless or you can say a, and it's going to become paler. Both are correct. Okay? Is it easy? Type, is there any more observation? Oh, there is one third observation. What's the third one? Hmm. The solid is going to decrease in size. I'm going to put magnesium, and magnesium is a magnesium is going to decrease in size. Am I right? And I was putting a piece of magnesium. I can anti copper sulfate. The color is blue. Why was putting a piece of magnesium? But by time, and magnesium is going to decrease in size. Am I right? Yes. If the solid decreases in size. This is number one. Number two, pink brown substance is going to form. Number three, um, number three, A. The solution will become paler. Tab, do you know how to change this equation into ionic equation or should I explain it? I know few students usually they are struggling how to make an ionic equation. Would you like me to explain it? Yes, please. Correct. Right. Let me show you how I can change normal equation into ionic equation. Hamza, do you have a question while you're using your hand? You have. Uh, yes, Miss. Um, miss, uh, when you like answer a question, can you write it down? Why should I write it down? My already you are saying that my wrote already the answer. But it's in the chat. It's in the chat, yeah, Hamza. You're going to find Lamar. Thank you, Lamar. Wallah. 
اهو البلو كلر فيدز البينك سوليد فورمز والسوليد ديزولفز اتس ان ذا تشات اوريدي اوكي يا مس بس ات از اوكي ما اتس اوريدي ان ذا تشات طيب ليسن تو مي بقى هاو كان اي تشينج نورمال ايكويشن انتو ايونيك ايكويشن يعني if I'm having oh, normal equation like magne copper plus magnesium sulfate, we said it's going to give you, uh, sorry, I am copper or magnesium, yeah, magnesium plus copper sulfate. And the copper is less reactive, yes. Copper, figure magnesium plus copper sulfate. It will give you magnesium. Well, tell me about the first step. How should I do ionic equation? The first step, I'm going to break anything aqueous. And if I have anything aqueous, I will see a lot more. Thank you. If I'm going to um, if I'm going to change, I'm going to check anything aqueous, or I'm going to check to change it into a and if any substance aqueous, I'm going to break it. And I have this aqueous oh, in magnesium as it is magnesium that it's a solid of that aqueous. Well, this is aqueous. Well, this is a solid. So anything solid, write it as it is. The only thing that you will break is the aqueous ones. Like a copper sulfate, since it's aqueous, you're going to break it. Well, anything you break, you return the charge. Like a copper, what's the charge for the copper? Positive two. Right, positive two. I will sulfate, and I think the sulfate minus two. You and I'm breaking, I'm breaking anything a aqueous type again in magnesium sulfate. The aqueous you are going to return back the charge, but instead of magnesium sulfate, it's going to be magnesium positive two to sulfate minus two. Oh. Plus copper. Then next, you are going to remove the spectator ions. Eh, how spectator ions? Spectator ions, yani el ions el on the right or on the left the same. So what are here for this example? What are the spectator ions? SO4. SO4 minus two. Exactly, SO4 minus two. What do we call this spectator ion? What do I mean by spectator ion? Yani, the ions are on the right or on the left, same. Okay. This is what we need. Copper. We have less charge. It's like a positive two. Which one? The copper. The last one. The last one. Yes. I will tell you. Because this is an ion, and this is as the an element. If you have any element alone, the charge is going to be a. Zero doesn't have any charge. Any element alone. When does it have a charge? When it is a part of a compound, like sodium chloride. Must sodium chloride. The sodium is always positive, and chloride is minus. Like if I'm having sodium alone, sodium as a metal alone, it's neutral. It's not positive. It's not negative. Clear? Or should I repeat it? Is it okay? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Now, did you see how I did the ionic equation? I know few students, a lot of students, they are struggling with ionic equation. Type. If we ask you to write the state symbols, anything that was a solid from the beginning, you will write it again solid. Well, anything from the from the start, from start here, it was aqueous, I will write aqueous. Type here, this was aqueous again, I will write aqueous. Type here, it was a solid, so I will write solid and, and so on. Is it clear? Yes, Miss. Okay. Brother Salum. Right, let's continue. Here, I said one change. Take care. This is for the observation. Up next. It's saying, well, explain why this reaction is a redox one. It involves gaining and losing of electrons. Exactly. 
and one species is going to be oxidized, or the other one is going to be reduced. Perfect, Prof. Watch uh, which one is oxidizing agent in this reaction. We'll give reason. Uh, which one is going to be the oxidizing agent? I know this is so confusing. Which one is the oxidizing? Copper positive. Type. Well, in general, the oxidizing agent is the is the species Reduction. that is going to be exactly bravo. The uh, the species that is going to be reduced. Hey, the oxidizing agent. Okay, why? An oxidizing agent it means that it helped others to be oxidized. You got the point? Copper. Type. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see. Type. هو the magnesium. And that's why, for an equation like this, I'm teaching you to use the redox ladder because of this reason. Here, it's not showing you who is oxidized and who is reduced. There is no electrons or there is no oxygen. I cannot get it. That's why the easiest way is to do the redox ladder. I'm telling you to do it. Oh, this is oxidation. Well, this is reduction. Type. It was magnesium zero, it will become. Magnesium positive to you. What happened to the magnesium? Oxidation. Perfect. Perfect. You see now how it's... You're reducing agent. Exactly. Oxidation. Type. What about this, Ya Hamza? It was copper positive too. It will become copper. This means a oh, copper positive too. Reduction. It will become copper. Exactly. This is reduction. Oxidation agent. In substance, oxidation. This means a reducing agent. But here he want which one is the oxidizing agent. I'm going to choose a Cu2 plus Cu plus two. Exactly. Yeah, but it's going to be Cu positive two. Why? In the Cu positive two, to change to Cu, it is reduced. But that's why, since it's reduced, you have oxidizing agent. Type. So we only explain your answer. Take care. Get them the questions. Better oxidation or reduction. All the time he will tell you explain your answer. The majority of the question explain your answer. So the copper will lose, will gain electron, or decrease in oxidation number. You can say because it gained electron, this is an option. I will actually increase oxidation number. Correct. Both are correct. Sorry. Mm. Right. Let's revise something like this. This is. I don't know. Do you know this? Well, I don't know this part. This part again related to electrolysis, but with aluminium. Do you know this part? Well, uh, should I skip this question? Yes, yeah. yes, we know. Yes, yeah. it's the last question, but we'll do this one. Question five. Mm. Tell me the first one. What are the type of particles that are responsible to transfer the charge? No, free moving electrons in the wires and in the electrolyte, electrolyte uh, positive and negative ion. Exactly. When I say why does the wire, why Hamza, the any wire, why the uh, why the wire conduct electricity? The wire that is a metal. But since it's a metal, it's going to conduct electricity because of free moving a. Huh? Free moving electrons, right? Clear? Because it has free moving electrons. This is why the wire conduct electricity. Type. What about the electrolyte? Why does the wire, why does the electrolyte, the whole solution here, why does the solution conduct electricity? Have moving, uh, free moving electrolyte. Uh, electrolyte, free moving electrolyte. listen, but electrolyte, yeah, it's something like sodium chloride, masalan, potassium iodide, copper sulfate, it's, a, it's an ionic compound. Free moving ions? Exactly. Free moving ions. Okay, if I ask you why the wire, why the wire conduct electricity, how? Because it has free moving electron. Like can he ask you uh, why does the electrolyte conduct electricity? I'm going to say because it has a free moving ion in the ionic compound. There was a question, it was the same, but it was three marks. It was three marks. Well, the solution was copper sulfate. And he was asking uh, what are same question, exactly. As the solution was copper sulfate, it was three marks. Oh, we should mention the name of the ions oh, in the... Bravo, bravo, bravo. Good job. 
What's your name? Hello. Hello, bravo. Excellent. You're the best. Bravo. Why, Bab? Because here it's three marks. But I need to mention the name of the ayn. This is the trick. I need to mention the name of the ayn. So for here, I'm going to say free moving electron. Like in for the electrolyte, I'm going to say the copper ion with sulfate ions. Oh, my, these ions. And I need to mention the name. If I didn't mention, why should I take the mark? Perfect, bro. I don't want the name. Here, the, here it's fine. Free moving, free moving uh, ions, and that's it. Okay. An electrolyte, uh, sorry, uh, a kerylite. What's the function for the kerylite? Improves the conductivity and lower the operating temperature. Correct. Uh, because uh, kerylite, it makes better conduction of electricity. Here, because uh, because a kerylite, do you know, Aslan, what are, what are the ions of kerylite? Kerylite, it is Na3AlF6. It is full of ions. And you don't need to study the formula, but it's full of ions. But since it's full of ions, this means a kid for sure is going to conduct electricity in a better way. You got the point? A kid for sure is going to conduct electricity in a better way. Sorry? This will aluminum conduct the ions. Oh, you are talking about a which which part in ions? No, no, that's a question. I think it's aluminum. One, that's why it's called ions. Well, it's aluminum. Is it aluminum oxide or aluminum alone? Alone. Aluminum alone is metal. I'm not sure if aluminum inside the aluminum oxide is ion, but aluminum alone is metal. Okay, okay. So, the three, the three elements are made up of ions. No. أنا بقول لك this is kerylite Na3 ALF6 this is kerylite بس no need to study the formula يعني. So since it, it is full of ions but this means it's going to conduct electricity in a better way. Number two it decreases the melting point. How it decreases the melting point of the oxide. يعني الوكسيد in general الوكسيد to conduct to be melted you need to heat it till 2000 degrees Celsius. Kid, I'm not going to heat it till 2000 degrees. This will take too much, too much temperature, too, uh, high, very high temperature. Yeah. So instead of 2000, I'm going to decrease the temperature till, KMP, till 900. Why? Because I added kerylite. The yeah, well, kerylite that you put here, it decreases the melting point. And instead of 2000 degrees, it's going to be 900 degrees. Unless it decreases the melting point. Number two, better conduction of electricity. Type. If this question was a three mark question, or for paper two for the Cambridge student, there is a third answer. What is the third answer? Uh, act as a solvent. Exactly, bro. Act as solvent. Since it it decreases in melting point, this means it now it now dissolve it. Correct, bro. Good job, good job, good job. Okay. Type right the half ionic equation of the electrolyte. How it will form? The aluminium. Type aluminium. We start with aluminium is in group A. Aluminium is in group 3. Since it's in group 3, how should I write it? Positive 3. Positive 3. It will gain how many electrons? 3. Perfect. 3 electrons? Exactly. And it will form a aluminum. Okay, mini. Okay. How the carbon dioxide gas is formed at the anode? We said before in the carbon dioxide. What's the question? Are three marks? Question is a three mark question. How here? The, how here? I need to replace the anodes all the time. And why this anode should be replaced from time to time? Bizzabt, exactly same like the barbecue. I always say to the students, if I want to do a barbecue, if I have the coal and I started heating the coal, for sure by time I was doing the barbecue by using the coal, lower black substance. The, the by time I need to replace it. I cannot use it. I cannot use it same for next year. If I should replace it. Hina Bartu the same. Why should I replace these? I'm going because to say number one, the first mark, you need to say because the anode 
is made of carbon. So carbon will react with oxygen. Then to give carbon dioxide. If I need to start the cell, I will, I'm going to say in the anode because the anodes are made of carbon. So then after you said the anode is made of carbon, so it will react with oxygen forming carbon A, forming carbon dioxide. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Right. Um, that's all for today. Um, I will check it, uh, if next week you want, Bardo, next week, past papers. Would you like to continue electrolysis or redox, Bardo? Yes. Well, I want another topic. Another topic. Another topic? Which topic? Another do you topic, yes. Uh, can you do an acid and base? Yeah, Rabbi. Now we did acid and bases for more than one month, I think. Is it the first time for you to join our class? Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, uh, I remember now. Boss, I have no problem طبعا, to make acid and bases, but the point is that this is the first class after, for example, four classes acid and bases. But that's why, Boss, if you have my YouTube channel, you're going to find more than one class uh, acid and bases. But that's why I want to make something different. But like, no. if you want it, it's fine. Yes, it's organic. 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 Electrolysis. Electrolysis. Yeah, and people say electrolysis, and people say organic. 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 We can do next Friday. We can do next Friday uh, electrolysis again, past papers electrolysis. Inshallah, the, the Friday after we can do organic. We can do past papers organic. Okay? Okay. Okay. Miss, are the sessions sent to the group? No. No, they are not. You are talking about the timings of but the where, uh, where can I find them? I will tell you something. You're talking about uh, uh, the recorded ones. The record, we'll see, I will tell you something. Not all the sessions are recorded. Some sessions are recorded, some not. The ones who are recorded, uh, the, you're going to find them on the YouTube. You will find the link of the YouTube on the on the in the chat. Okay, but not all the sessions are recorded. Fee, some of them are recorded. With the ones who are recorded, you, you're going to find them on the YouTube. There are a lot, and you're going to find a lot. Maybe. Babe, a lot. Can you send me the YouTube link? Uh, can anyone please put it in the chat? Oh, someone... can you send the YouTube channel link? Yes, yes, it's on the it's on the chat now again. Thank you, Juju. Juju sent it for you. The this is the Instagram or WhatsApp groups, Telegram or YouTube, everything. <laughs> Thank you, Juju. Uh, inshallah, before next class, yani before next Friday, I'm going to put on the Instagram on WhatsApp, um, the timing of the next class. Mostly, it's going to be Friday. We are going to do again, uh, post papers for electrolysis, inshallah. Hello, you are late. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? Uh, Basim was one of our students since last year. Oh, <laughs> we're done, Lil'asaf. He was one of our students since last year. Well, this year, finally, oh, yeah. I saw him live. Finally, last Friday, I saw him live. But today, I saw him live. Finally, after one year. Uh, you really made my day, Allah, Basim, since I saw you again in life. <laughs> اوكي يلا اي ويل سي ان شاء الله نيكست فرايداي شكرا يا سوبا يعني ميرسي على الكومبليمون الظريف ده لا والله ذس از ريل يعني ذس از ذا ريل لايف يعني بصي دي ترو ستوري كده مش ااا باسم على فكره هتلاقي برضه الكلاس ده يا باسم باي تومورو ماكسيم ان شاء الله اون يوتيوب اف يو ونت تو تشيك ات احنا عملنا باست بيبرز على الكتروليسز وريدوكس يو ماست ويلكم يا معتز اوكي يلا اي ويل سي يو نيكست فرايداي ان شاء الله دو يور بيست هاف ا جريت ويكند لاف يو